Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So this video here is going to be a review on two ultra cheap mini spray guns. Now one is a fast mover is the name of it and the other one is just a ANI mini gun. Both of them are absolutely dirt cheap. You'll probably be able to get them from $25 to $35 depending on where you get them from. Um, you may pay a bit of shipping, depend as I say, it depends if you buy them online or if you buy them locally. Um, so this is a fast mover here. You can see it's got a, it looks okay. Like it's got a nice blue anodized body to it. But you can just tell when you get it out of the box, it's just cheaply made. It's not well machined or anything like that. And it's just a cheap made spray gun. I would imagine it's not going to last. Um, and I've got a little bit of proof that these guns don't last if you hang around to the end of this video. Um, so as you see, you got your um, gun cleaning tool um, you got a spanner as well and you get your pot put your air fitting on and you're right to go So as you'll notice the fast mover does have a air adjustment valve down the bottom Which is handy to have the other gun doesn't actually have it the a and I mini gun <clears throat> And when you have a look at this a and I mini gun, you'll be able to tell that the body of it is just um, really poor finishing on it um, Obviously that's because it's a budget gun. They're not going to spend that time polishing or um, whatever coating they decide anodize um, on a budget gun so this one here um is made in italy but it's it's not good at all <clears throat> i've personally got no brand bias and many people who have seen my top eight mini spray guns review will know that the ani r150 actually took out number one spot but if they bring out crap guns i'm going to tell you about it i'm sorry but if you hang around for a couple more minutes you'll be able to have a look at the spray fan on both of these guns and the lack of a air adjustment valve is definitely not a plus towards the ANI. So um, what I'm actually forced to do here, just for the sake of <coughs> adjusting the air, I just crimp the air line, but um, if I was to get serious about using the gun, I would probably put a cheater valve onto it. Um, the other option would be to um, lower and raise your pressure at the wall in your spray booth or on your compressor if you're doing it at home. Um, so yeah, we'll put a bit of thinners in it and you'll be able to see that this fast mover, the fan on this thing is absolutely tiny. That is full fan, believe it or not. Now some people may say, oh, but you're spraying thinners through it, it's going to spray paint differently. I can tell you now, it's not going to spray that much differently. Um, and what if you're using this gun for a fade out thinner or something like that? It's going to spray exactly the same as it sprays this thinners, isn't it? Um, plastic primer it would spray exactly the same because that stuff's uh, very thin it's just about as thin as thin as itself um, well the 1k stuff that we use is anyway um, so now we'll get on to the ANI minigun I don't even think this thing actually gets a name like it doesn't have a, <clears throat> a code name to it like R150 F150 like the other ANI guns it's just ANI mini spray gun um, and you can see that the, the fan is uneven on it you can see that it's um, it's a little bit sort of bottom heavy and as the other painter is pointing out it's not really that great of a fan but for the money you know you might be like hey all I need to do is just spot up a little bumper bar here and there it's not going to be used a, uh, a great deal of times well and you can't justify the hundred and fifty dollars on the slightly better gun maybe use it but you're getting a cheap gun and they probably just won't last you know um, <laughs> there you go that's what I think of them throw them in the bin just for the record, I did pull them out of the bin and um, give them to the other painter. And it turns out that he said, hey, I've actually already had a couple of these guns previously. And as you can see, they were in the graveyard. He's pulled them out just to show me that it's exactly the same as the gun that I gave him. But guns don't make it into the graveyard if they're well built. They get used and used and uh, yeah. He's just got like a box of spray guns and yeah, he was glad to take these two guns off me. As I said, I, did, I was kind of just mucking around when I threw them in the bin. But as far as I'm concerned, they are rubbish. Then I'm never going to use them. I gave them straight away to this guy. He said, hey, I'll buy you a coffee. I said, don't even worry about it, mate. But yeah, as they say, buy cheap, buy twice. Personally, I would recommend looking at my top eight mini spray guns review and you'll be able to get a better idea of some half decent spray guns that you can buy for a reasonable price. Anyway, I'll leave it at that for this one, Gunners. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below of your thoughts. Until the next one, Gunners, get out there and paint some shit. Thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.